This is just a quick little video, but I'm being called Bigger Ballsack. The Pollut Raptors here are being called Sea Teamers. We are not Sea Teamers. So, give, Jesus Christ. Yeah, we're, we're still discussing it. So, I'm going to explain what exactly happened. So, what happened was that we're being called Sea Teamers because of... Give me a second. The main suspect right now is the battle against Controller, because I found a lot of information about what he uses. I didn't have 100% concrete information. What Controller brought versus me was not what I knew he would bring. He had a Colossal Drops and an Ikazune, and none of my info showed that. I did not know what he was going to use. The Colossal Drops and Ikazune were dangerous for me. It wasn't good for me. Of course, the matchup was still in my favor because... The other Lumians, I did expect, I did get ready, because I knew Controller, he used to use Stall, but he also has been working with Hyper Offense at the time of that battle. So I got ready for Hyper Offense and Stall. I kept Odeyaga to deal with the Stall, and I started working for Hyper Offense and also good matchups with like Jet Wing and stuff he, I know he used in the, before. And then I was worried about Colossal Drops and Ikazune. That's not a C team. I, someone didn't come and tell me, yo, here's his team. And then they just drop the fucking team and show it to me and I immediately just hard counter that. That's not how it works. An example that you guys might have seen just now is I showed... A, like... The battle in TLS versus Poem week 4 against Pomegranate. Let, let's see if we can find it. Uh, SBS week 1 it should, should be around here. This battle. This battle. That battle against Poem, I... I, I, I got pretty <laughs> counter-teamed, which it... Okay, not counter-teamed. I got pretty prepped for, because Poem recognized what I like to use. Let's just... Oops, wrong one. Fuck. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this matchup. Now, it's not exactly the worst, ma the worst matchup, but every single Lumion here... Is good into Oda Yaga, except Tundralin, but it hits it super effectively. So hey, like hey, and also he knows I don't. I guess I don't know if he brought Thunder King just because I hated it or because it's another thing that hits Oda Yaga super effectively. But I despised Thunder King at the time of this, so he de he definitely brought that. Like he did he didn't know exactly what I was gonna use though. He doesn't know what I was gonna use, so he wasn't really C teaming me. He just noticed the pattern that I like to use Oda Yaga. Or maybe like Craptana. So he brought like Yersel for Craptana or something. Holly Bunch is something I had used before. I think he's Jolteth at Bamboozle? I don't remember. If it did, then that would be a... I just think that's good prep on his part. Because it, it was kind of risky to bring uh, Holly Bunch. I mean, kind of risky to bring Bamboozle. But it, it would have worked for him. Okay, what was everyone saying? Uh, just Raptors. So like that was not a C team on his part. I cannot say Poem C teamed me because he simply noticed that I like to use this. If that was a disqualifying factor, then what the fuck are we doing with our lives? <laughs> like, I. Okay, let's do another example. Let's say I'm battling uh, Agency. Agency uses Robust Boots Fade Knot. He likes Pyrolin. He likes Infernix. He likes Lumidami. He likes Lashend. I am going to make sure I don't lose to those automatically. Oh, he likes uh, Luminami Lashent. I'm going to use Terry Descent. Oh, he likes Phage Knot. Fuck it. Let's add a Gas Stroke on our team. With the, It can't even get bartered. Perfect counter. You see? That's not a C team. Agency can change his team up if he, if he wants to. That's the whole point of playing the game. That's why the game is interesting. Like, come on. I have been accused of C-teaming like a really long time ago. One time I... That one wasn't even close, but I just want to mention it. That I remember bringing a Noxious Shell Gobby Demic <laughs> into a Fiskarna. And I destroyed the Fiskarna. It was against all rank Black. I... Yeah, uh... I got accused of C-teaming. And that one I... I prob... I, I knew literally nothing. I wasn't taking it seriously. I was just messing around goofballing. <laughs> But yeah, so we're being accused of C-teaming right now, when we literally are not. So we're fighting the Jolly Villas Jazz this week, undefeated team, gonna be a very difficult time for us. 
But hey, the Jolly Village Jazz, if they win, good on them. But war, they use Ikabor. They have been known to use Ikabor for eight weeks. Obviously, we're gonna make sure we don't lose the Ikabor. Like, come on. Obviously, we don't want to. Lo we don't want to lose the Ikabor. We're not just gonna use one of our. Oh, I'm. Just, oh, here's a little team. I'm gonna pull it out of my asshole. No, we're gonna get ready for it. We're gonna make sure we don't die, <laughs> because we don't want to die to Ikabor. Now you can still bring Ikabor and outskill us, because like, who knows what we're gonna bring? I don't even know what they're gonna bring. <laughs> I, I'm not battling this week. I don't know what the Raptors are bringing, but I don't know. I don't know what the Jazz are bringing. But we can realistically expect Ikabor. And then another thing, I did battle Razzles just now, and he's part of the Jolly Villas Jazz. I he was bringing what was he bringing again? I think he was bringing some strange team that he was messing around with. He brought that team just to see if I would tell the Raptors about it. I completely forgot to do that. <laughs> Now, I did actually tell the Raptors, hey, here's a funny thing that he had. I don't think he's actually going to use it, but he might. So make sure you don't die to it. That's simple. It's not that deep. 